So I've just grabbed some treats with me for the reason being that um, yeah, if I don't have treats with me they'll normally get tired of me quite mm -hmm. quickly. So this is the male, this is Puma. You might be able to see from the body language of between the two dingoes, he's a little bit of a boss over the food. Um, so we need to be quite mindful of that when we interact with them, that mm -hmm. he is pushed into that position um, and kind of guarding me from her at the moment. Um, so what I'll do is I'll pay attention to him for a little while, um, mm -hmm. up to a point, and then I'll ignore him and call her forward or call her to another spot. And that way, it's just very subtle. It's, I guess subtly shows them that we are quite aware of how and where we're paying our attention. And if we tend to do that, um, especially with this pair, we find that it really reduces the competition and the aggression between the two. Mm -hmm. if we let them call the shots. They, they're this pair particularly can get quite aggressive with one another. Not to the point that they hurt each other, mm -hmm. but they can get quite noisy. So she's sometimes a little bit more cautious about coming up because she's aware of her brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also us being quite purposeful in our interactions with them gives her a little bit of confidence as well. Because she knows that it's more up to us than them, those, these two fighting it out. Yeah. <laughs> She's rolled in something. She's got a bit of bird poo on her back. Oh. <laughs> Found something somewhere. Uh, so yeah, you can see that they're quite mm. um, easy for us to interact with. I'll see if Puma is a bit awkward. trained a few, just a few basic behaviours with them. Mm -hmm. Possibly triggers mm. him thinking that mm. she was a vet without him being able to smell 